The Great Barrier Reef Summit is it's about managing for resilience. It's convened by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority to help us design our programs of the future. The ideas about actions we can take now, right now, to uh, improve the health of the system as it recovers from Cyclone Debbie and from the massive coral bleaching. We need to find new ways to build the resilience of the reef. Well to me the, one of the excitements about a meeting like this is that you have people talking from a whole range of different backgrounds and you know if we can get a sort of collective reimagining as what's the best approach to deal with the, with the reef and that might mean changing the role of the scientists like me changing the way that you approach the management, being maybe more uh, willing to take risks and intervene in ways that we haven't done in the past. So when it comes to the two big climate issues, which is ocean warming and acidification, all countries that have coral reefs are sharing the same problem. We're all experiencing the same things, it's universal, and there just needs to be much more awareness about the importance of coral reefs and why it's just critical to conserve them and make sure that they don't go away. I think it's a really critical time for coral reef management. We're kind of at this cusp of our understanding and how to manage reefs and we have all these new challenges including bleaching events and climate change. But I think where there's all these challenges there can also be a lot of opportunities. I'm really hopeful that, that as a group we will be inspired by those overseas examples and use those to drive our approach to building resilience here in the Great Barrier Reef. The solutions don't always need to be really big and expensive and I think that that's one of the things we need to get across to people is that we can, we can all make a difference, we just need to choose the appropriate scale and also what the outcome is that we're comfortable with. I think today's the time to recognise that business as usual alone will not save the reef. I think we need to remember the GBR is 2,300 kilometres long and of course there's communities the full length of the GBR that are benefiting from it, both economically and socially. Our cultural value is interlinked with social, ecological, economic. Everything's connected from the land to the sea. We've had a huge amount of information today and I really congratulate Cabrompo, the Marine Park Authority, for bringing together all of these people. We're all here looking for solutions, putting our ideas together, our heads together, and I think we'll have a positive outcome. There's such a spirit for change, a desire for change. Everyone wants to walk away with an understanding of two or three key actions that we must all stand behind and support in here, but out there as well. We've been trying a range of things, but we feel like every action, every possible action should now be on the table. We should work together and decide what more can we be doing.